Hi guys, it's Jamie. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you realise the difference in lighting because my ring light arrived and I am beyond thrilled with it. I think it's the best thing I've ever bought in my entire life. So today's tutorial will be this look which is quite Kylie Jenner inspired if I'm honest. Same kind of smoky eye, same kind of lip because I wish I was that cool when I was 17, let's just say that. So even though this is Kylie Jenner inspired, it's a perfect look for daytime, for work, things like that. A really nice kind of soft, natural, neutral makeup. It's not a wild one and it's the easy, it's so easy, it takes about 10 minutes. So I hope you like this tutorial and I will be back next week with another one for you. Thank you so much for watching. <gasps> Bye! Starting off with Soft Ochre by MAC to paint my lid and prime. Just a light layer buffed out all over and a little bit underneath as well. Then going in with Stealth Eyeshadow by Illamasqua. This is just a really nice light tone that I'm going to use in my inner eye and over lower lid and a little sweep of it and on my brow bone for a highlight. This is a Justify Shadow by Illamasqua and I'm going to use that as my crease colour so this is going to diffuse any darker browns I put on and using small circular motions and holding my brush quite high up just to help with the blend down. I'm doing it quite round and I'm going a little bit underneath as well. This is Wolf Eyeshadow by Illamasqua which is a nice rich chocolatey brown. Going in my crease with that and buffing it in to justify the diffusing colour. Using a smaller brush this time just to drag it under the eye for a wee bit more precision. And then going back in with my fluffier brush that I used first just to make sure it's nice and softly blended out. I didn't show you it, but I'm going in with black eyeshadow, which is Illamasqua Obsidian, just to make it nice and dark. And then I go between the crease brush and the fluffier brush just to make sure it's nicely diffused. If you look at pictures of Kylie Jenner, her eyeshadow is always really, really soft. It's never, it's never too harsh. So just a little bit of black just to give it a bit of depth. Then going in with NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, I'm going to paint my waterline to get it nice and bright. This makes the eyes look bigger and it takes away any kind of tired looking. Just make sure you don't poke yourself in the eye like I did. Ow. This is Illamasqua Liquid Liner in Abyss, my new fave. And I'm just starting halfway along the eye. It's not going to go around the full lash line and flicking out just a little bit, not as big as my usual. It's still quite a soft look, but I wanted to give it have a slight wing. Easiest way is to start in the middle, get your flick and just build up in between the flick and where you started. Making sure the product's nice and smooth and don't be, don't be scared to check how you're getting on halfway through. Illamasqua Mascara, my current fave, and I'm giving my lashes a good coat of that a good three coats or something because again if you look at oh we sip of coffee there if you put loads on that's kind of Kylie Jenner style I'm just popping a wee pair of wispies on really really nice thin lashes not too strong at all you can't really tell you've got them on to be honest and using a pair of tweezers just to make sure they're perfect and once they're secure I give my own lashes and the fake lashes a wee roll together and another coat of mascara and that is the finished eye look. Going on to lips, I'm using Bare by Illamasqua. A really nice pinky nude, but it's still got a touch of brown in it, so it's not too pinky. And I'm just going straight from the bullet and applying that all over. Making sure I'm getting a good layer of it. This lipstick's matte as well, so it lasts ages. And it's right on trend. This is actually a Rimmel brow pencil in brown dark or brown black I should say and I've tried and tested this and it lasts for ages on your lip with a nude lipstick and it's so bone dry that it lasts forever so because of my lipstick first I can see exactly where my natural lip line is and I'm just using the pencil to push that out a little bit to overdraw 
and although it's a lot darker brown, all I do is I give my lips a wee rub together and it helps blend. But I just go back in and make sure I get them as even as I can. My lips are quite uneven by themselves though, so I don't get too stressed out about it. And I make sure I quite like the dark lip line with the kind of ombre lip going on and it does make them look a lot bigger. This obviously is not a look for everybody. Feel free to just put on lipstick like normal and a little touch of the lipstick just in the middle to get the colour nice and bright. And that's the finished look. My take on Kylie Jenner's look that is suitable for daily wear. And there's me trying to pose like her. Who knows? Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you next week.